what is up y'all all right guys so right now i'm walking to a spot that is apparently pretty good and i'm trying not to slip on this like really muddy path so pretty much if you guys remember in one of my recent videos i caught a couple clamshells at a spot well i'm going back to that spot right now and i mean last time you guys saw something broke me off something that had teeth i'm guessing i mean it was either a pickerel or a snakehead that's really the cool thing about this specific spot they actually have an abundance of snakeheads so we're gonna get over here we're gonna see what we can do maybe we'll get lucky All right, man, here we are. I just, I don't know, I have a good feeling about today, man. I'm gonna be using this mystery tackle box right here. This is the pro box for the month of April. Now, if you guys are not familiar with mystery tackle box, basically it is a subscription service. They send you a new box every month. It's really cool. I mean, they send you new orders every month. It helps you become a better fisherman because they send you stuff you've really never heard of or never tried before. So I'm gonna be using some of these baits today as well as some of my own. If you guys do wanna try out mystery tackle box for the first time, you can use this code on the screen or it's down in the description below. That code right there will give you $10 off your first box. So it's basically like almost free. All right, guys, enough talking here. Pretty much I brought two setups here today and I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna be fishing this place. Kind of like exploring it. I didn't get to fish it too much the first time I was here and hopefully we can get on some of these crazy species today. I, I don't know, man. Let me stop talking. Let's get rigged up here. Let's catch some fish. So this fishing session, I knew I was gonna be throwing a variety of different baits, not just MTB baits, but just like a whole variety of different things. I started off by throwing a hair jig, but I mean, it kind of got snagged and that was the end of that. I tried some other baits, but I mean, next thing I knew, the people next to me, there was a random people, they caught this giant snapping turtle. And just like, listen to this real quick. You hit your little jerk bait? Oh, right. I was like, wait, what? Y'all use the MTB too? I mean, mind you guys, these were complete strangers. After a while, everybody else at this spot left, but I was still here fishing. I was determined, man. I just, I had this feeling that I was going to hook into something and it was all going to be worth it. There's the fish, guys. Oh, yeah. On the spinner. What do we got here? Oh, he's coming right at me. What is this? Oh my gosh. All right, well, first fish of the day. I mean, there's so many different species here. This, uh, I mean, I guess this guy had to show up. Hey, I'm not complaining, man. Nice little bluegill. Let's let that guy go, man. Come on, man. So many species in here. I mean, snakehead, pickerel, and I got the bluegill. I mean, all right. It's a fish, it's a fish, it's a fish. Oh, let's get some more. Other stuff, though, other stuff. There we go, guys. There we go. On the spinner. What is this? Little largey? Hey, man, I'll take that. I will take that. Second fish of the day on our spinner. Oh my God, dude. Whew. Oh, that feels good, man. I've been here for a little bit. The spinner seems to be what's actually getting all the bites here, man. If you guys remember back, actually, this is a spinner that only has two hooks. This is the one that I caught that, like, really weird mutated trout with but hey man i am not gonna complain about that oh god he is not happy about this but yeah i mean nice little large mouth cannot complain about that second species of the day there he goes all right there we go there we go oh that's the bluegill always around There's a fish, guys. That's a nice fish right there. Oh my gosh, this could be your, this could literally be a snakehead right here. Is this my freaking snakehead that I was looking for? Oh my god, dude. Please do not come out. I only have two hooks on this guy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, is this a snakehead? Is this it? Oh my god, is this it? Oh, let's freaking go, dude. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Holy crap. I came here for this specific species. I mean, I was down with catching anything, but oh my gosh, I cannot believe I actually freaking got it. There we go, guys. Where's, where is the good lighting? That is snakehead right there. As you guys see, I got him on this little, uh, whew, I, I, my heart's beating so fast, I can barely talk. Got him on this little uh, inline spinner here. The one, this is my lucky inline spinner, guys. This is the one that has the two hooks on it. So far, I've caught that trout that was really deformed and I caught a bunch of other fish. And finally, guys, finally, I got me a snakehead right here. Oh my gosh, dude. Whew, that is such an awesome feeling, guys. Northern snakehead straight out of Delaware. I'm in Northern Delaware right now. 
Let me tell you guys. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, that might have scared y'all too. I, that scared the crap out of me. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this guy's going crazy. These guys, like, they can survive super, super well outside of water. I'm so excited about this guy. So if you guys live in, you know, the northeast of the United States, you know, Delaware, Pennsylvania, Maryland, you might not think of it, but these fish are in these waters. I mean, you'd be surprised at how many freaking weird places these guys are. So guys, with this fish right here, we are going to be doing a catch and cook. I'm literally just so happy right now. All right, let me dispatch this guy real quick. I'm just gonna go right through the gills. Yeah, man, I'm just so excited about this because this is my second snakehead that I ever caught. If you guys wanna see the first one I ever caught, it is up here. But guys, if you do decide to kill him, just make sure that like you're not just wasting the fish. I mean, these are apparently the best, if not one of the best fish you could eat. All I gotta say, man, when he hit, I almost, I mean, almost instantly knew it was one. These fish, I mean, they fight like no freshwater fish that I've ever caught before. As y'all can see, man, here he is all ready to be brought home. Ever since I caught my last snakehead, like last year, I've been dying to get on another one. And I mean, I'm just excited to see how they taste because apparently everybody says that they're like the best freshwater fish. You guys are going to find out as well as me if all these snakehead, the best eating fish rumors are true or not. All right, my heart is still beating like a million miles an hour. I think I'm gonna cast a little bit more. I mean, after that, I, I can't imagine like hooking into another one. All right, let's get to it. Yeah, I think I officially can claim this as my lucky inline spinner. I mean, me and this thing just have a history by now, you know, I mean, it's not every day you catch, a... oh my gosh, I just got a fish on the, that's not, what is this? What is this guy? Oh, that was right after I got this, oh God. Get out of here, Bluegill. I mean, literally right after I said this is my lucky spinner. Woo, ah, oh, what a day, man. All right, y'all, it is finally happening. Snakehead nuggets. Now, a lot actually went wrong when I tried to do this. And also, I didn't expect it to smell that bad or be that slimy, but that's probably the slimiest and the worst smelling fish that I've ever really dealt with during a catch and cook. I mean, once I got it cut up and everything like that, I mean, it wasn't smelly anymore at all. It was just like the slimiest, like it was almost like snot, like it was stretching out like all over my hands, everywhere you touched on the outside of the snakehead. And as I said, it smelled. So obviously the other people in the house were not too fond of me bringing home the snakehead. I also forgot that I dropped my fillet knife in the water when I was fishing one time. So I don't have a fillet knife, don't really have a sharp knife. Like I, I kind of butchered the fillet. Like just so you guys know, if you ever make a catch and cook, everybody is a fillet critique. Like no matter what, there's always that one person that says like something about your fillet job or how you cut the fish or anything like that. But it is all good. That is why I made these little nuggets right here. These little like breaded nuggets. I mean, they look pretty good. They feel pretty good. Like it feels like a nice little crispy nugget. I'm just excited, man, because I finally get to join. It's like almost an exclusive club. You know, the people who caught their own snakehead and ate their own snakehead or just people in general who ate snakehead. I feel like everybody just says it's so good. And I feel like I was almost like an outsider, you know? I never tried it before. But those days are long gone, man, because we are getting initiated into this whole snakehead fish eating family. I, I don't know, man, these look pretty good. They probably would have looked better if I had the breadcrumbs, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. It looks pretty good. I didn't show too much or talk too much when I was like doing the whole cooking process because you guys have seen me cook like this before. Pretty much I just used egg and flour and I put some oil on the pan, let it heat up, put these guys in and I took them out and that's it, man. That's all you guys missed really. I cut the fish and I did that. And now here we are with some Northern snakehead 
fish nuggets. Oh, man, this was a long time coming. All right, so as I said, after I like dispatched of all of the outside of the fish, all like the slimy parts, and I actually got the actual meat out of it, the meat had no, no smell at all. None of this has any fishy smell at all. Like, I don't know, let me stop talking here. Oh wait, one more thing. When I opened it, I had a little cross section. I had to take a sneak peek pure white meat like this might be the purest of whitest meats that i've ever done in a catch and cook <sighs> all right enough stalling let me take no i don't want that piece right, i'm just gonna go for this big one right here the biggest one we got nice little crispy nugget all right guys first time ever trying snakehead fish we got lucky today i ended up catching a northern snakehead like this was not planned i did not expect to do this today but you know things just work out in your way sometimes so all right guys <sighs> i'm like almost nervous man all right let me try this guy Pure white. Is this even fish? What the heck is... There's absolutely no fishy aftertaste or anything. Like, you could tell it's fish when you bite into it a little bit. But it just... Wow. Firm texture. Kind of like a mild taste to it. Like, it's not super fishy at all. I mean, I just wanted to get the taste of the actual fish. So I didn't really spruce this up too much. But, uh, hold on. Let me try this, like, crispier piece. All I gotta say is, man, this is, this is just is good. I mean, as I said, it's a little bit of a firmer texture. It's almost kind of like that catfish that I had, but it's extremely, extremely, like, how do I put this? It's just such unlike any other fish I've ever had in these catch and cooks. You know, I feel like there's certain fish that like you cook it one way, it tastes better than another way. This right here might be one of those special fish that any way you prepare it, it tastes good. I, I'm going to give, I mean, I'm just going to go out there and say it, man. This is the best fish that I've ever done one of these catching cooks, like flavor wise, texture wise, like everything about the snakehead is just freaking bomb. Definitely would recommend snakehead if you haven't tried it. I, I mean, I believe it now. If you have tried snakehead before, definitely let me know how you guys like it. And also, I mean, I, I'm going to be doing some other catching cooks. So definitely let me know in the comments below. Just like put some suggestions for future catching cooks you guys would like to see me do for me man this gets like a five out of five i'm sure if somebody with actually like cooking skills prepared this like a chef or something like that this would freaking 10 out of five this is just some good eating right here by the way this is only one filet i put the other filet in the fridge so uh, i'm gonna cook that a different way and as you guys see that's like a lot of food for one little filet hey guys that's pretty much i mean that's pretty much gonna do it here for this video today if you guys did enjoy this video and if you feel kind enough please give me a thumbs up that would mean a lot if you guys are not already and if you would like to definitely go down there and hit that subscribe button and if you never ever want to miss an upload from me youtube can mess up sometimes i know i always say this but down there there's a notification bell if you click on that turn notifications on you will get an update a notification every time i put out a video t-shirt link instagram just everything is down there in the description below yeah guys that's pretty much going to do it here for this video today so as always guys thank you so much for all the support let's keep this rolling man thank you guys for watching see you next video you